Uh, Stratford's getting groovy this weekend as local singer Emily Jane Brooks performs hits from the 60s at the Attic Theatre to launch her album Going Back, Female Icons of the 1960s. Uh, Emily was born and bred in Coventry and has performed all around the world. She's now back home and here in the studio to tell us more. She's got her sister as well, Charlotte, with us. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello good morning. Goodness, you like twins. It's <laughs> frightening. I'm not going to ask. There's four years in between you, but I'm not going to say who's the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. For not yeah, to <laughs> but Emily, let's start with you. Um, tell us how you got to sort of go all around the world. Well, basically, um, I always knew I wanted to, uh, well, go into into a career into singing. So um, I went to Warwick University, did theatre studies. Then after that, I went down to London um, to train at the Central School of Speech and Drama. And actually, I had a, a bursary from the BBC, which was amazing. So it really helped me because uh, postgraduate funding is very difficult to come by. So I was really grateful to the BBC for that. And I've been working ever since, and most recently for Cunard on board uh, two of their liners, uh, Queen Elizabeth and Queen Mary too. Hello, hello Emily. <laughs> very nice if you can get it. I know, I feel really lucky. I've travelled the world. I've had two world voyages um, between both ships. So I've been around the world twice uh, and did slightly different itineraries as well. So got to see some of the ports that I didn't see the first time round when I went the second time round. Oh, brilliant. So yeah, very so, lucky. So you've always, you've always wanted to perform. Yeah? Yes. Whether it's, is it, can you act as well? Um, I do do acting as well yes i kind of trained um singing dancing and acting but i've always felt that my safest and my most happy place is singing and what about sort of these these uh, shows these sort of x factor shows i mean you know would you ever do that or no um i i am very interested in watching them and uh. i would never say never because actually to be honest with you the exposure you can get from a show like that can be mm very helpful it's you know it's a tough industry it so, and there are so many people i'd say now it's it's swamped you know more than more mm -hmm. than ever before okay. probably due to so so many reality tv shows and so much um yeah. i suppose mainstream attention so i in some ways they've really bought a lot of people's interest you know to singing and performance mm. um which is a good thing but uh, I suppose there's a slightly double-edged sword because yeah. it's okay. it's even it's even tougher. It's even tougher. I mean, Charlotte's looking on like proud sister. She's oh, there, indeed. beaming with pride. <laughs> yes. uh, she, was she okay? Was she an all-white right singer when you were little girls, or was she rubbish? Uh, always, been brilliant. Brilliant. always been brilliant the actually. <laughs> always been fantastic oh that's oh, lovely yes. that's nice <laughs> no that's great and so can you sing does it run in the family I, I do sing yes it does run in the family because both our parents sing and then I sing as well but I do it on a, an amateur basis rather than a professional so I enjoy oh. it as a hobby uh, okay. um, but don't make a living from it but oh. uh, I'm not as good as Emily uh, well, oh, well, well, well having said that she's uh, singing on my uh, album she does some of the backing vocals for me which was so much fun in the studio yeah, oh that's fantastic we okay. had to try and behave though yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, see, I think it's lovely. We all know, like, fam sort of singing dynasties, like the Jacksons, the Osmonds. What do we yeah. think? The Von Trapps, <laughs> yeah. the Von Brooks. Yeah, yeah. The Von Brooks. <laughs> yeah. But so, Emily, so, you know, what's it like, you know, on a ship, you know, singing in front of, like, um, you know, an audience? Are they a good audience, ship audience? They're a very unique audience, I'd say. Oh, go on, tell they us. <laughs> tell all, dish the dirt. Oh, um, is it sort of polite claps or is it seasick? It very much depends. Is it seasick claps? <laughs> it can be. It depends if we're on rocky waters it can be <laughs> it can be uh, moaning and groaning and rushing out to the toilet oh. <laughs> but we try and uh, you know kind of plow on regardless i'd say it very much depends on the audiences i have to say um british audiences are very very supportive ah. but american audiences um are more vocal <gasps> Oh, do you, oh, so you get the whoops, you get the whoops. You get the whoops. And so what are you singing on ships? Are you doing ballads? Are you doing Jessie J? What are you doing? Are you doing young stuff, old stuff? It's a real mixture. I, I think, in my experience, because I was on, on board two Cunard liners, uh, it tended to be more... Uh, kind of classical rather than really popular oh, up-to-date stuff so okay. probably why i've found myself so kind of ensconced in this nostalgic yes uh, so thing. tell us about the album going back female icon icons of the 60s why the 60s well um i think that the music of the 60s is so incredible it had so many different sounds and so many new styles it was a really exciting decade for music and dusty springfield really was my uh, first and, and main inspiration uh, which is obviously why the the, the, the title track is a dusty track um oh, okay. but uh you know i you look, do you know something stop there girlfriend because you look a little bit put the hair up put the hair up put that 
that hair up. Yeah. That is, what do you think, there we go. Charlotte? Dusty. That is dusty. Icon. Hello. <laughs> You've is... just made my life. <laughs> just don't you think, though? I do. Can I just say, you're both, oh, obviously it's radio, but you are both very glamorous. Oh, you look, you look amazing. <laughs> yeah. I was to get here in the rain this morning. Oh, so yeah. You've got, you've you've got, trying to get here looking You've glamorous. got the sort of long, long hair and the makeup's all set and making me feel great. Yeah, great. <laughs> wonderful. I've got false hair in. Hello. No makeup. Um, but no, but it's great that you're doing this. And now you're back home for good, are you, Emily? I am, yes. Um, been been down to London, been around the world and I've come back to, well, I come back to Coventry, to my family home mm. and I'm looking to stay in the Midlands and okay. possibly it, uh, buy somewhere. Yes, myself. Is, is it good to have sis back, Charlotte? It is, it's great, yeah, because I miss her when she's away and I did go on the uh, the cruise ship to see her for a while on a holiday, which oh. is lovely. Uh, so that was a little perk for me as a sister, but it's great to have her back. Oh, that's yeah, great. So you're, all the time. you're borrowing hair straighteners, you're doing yeah. all the sort of Oh, yes, things. clothes and all that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Um, you're performing tonight. Is it? Is it? You're performing uh, three thirty this at afternoon. Ah. Yes, at the Attic Theatre at Stratford upon Avon. Um, and yeah, it's to, really it's launching. The album is launched today, so this is the first time we're performing um, the songs in public all together with my fantastic band, who I much uh, I must mention, um, Joe Davison from Auburn Jam Music. That's oh. the studio I've been working with on the album. Oh, that's fantastic! And uh, yeah, they've been absolutely fabulous. And so we're performing today and tomorrow, um, three thirty, uh, just a one-hour show launching the album at the Attic Theatre. And I'm yes. looking at the album here. You look, you do look like Dusty <laughs> on that front cover. You do, and um, and you know it's it's really lovely. Actually, you've got like, how many tracks on there? Ten? Yes, ten tracks. Oh, and we're going to hear now Vacation. Is that right? Yes, this is a Connie Francis one released in 1962. Um, I thought it might be nice because it's so miserable outside. This is a really happy, sunny track. Oh, it's wonderful. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And if people want to get this album, where do they go? They download it? Or they can they? download it. It will be available on um, Amazon and iTunes, but also they can find it via my website, emilyjanebrooks.com. Um, uh and, oh, it's uh, yeah. wonderful. Well, we like supporting local talent, and it's great that Sis is involved. Yeah. Look at it, she's there with the back. <laughs> do, you, do you do the backing vocals? I do here? indeed. Yes, Lovely. I do indeed. And, and there's no sibling rivalry. You haven't tried to drown her out, have you? Have no, you? Not, no. <laughs> Not yet. No, not yet. I, I know I would. If that was my brother, I haven't got any sisters, but if I had a brother, I'd be like, yeah, I'm backing. Oh, of course I'm not backing. I'm going to take over this track. But no, it's, I wish you the best of luck. We'll hear it now. And do keep in touch with us. Yeah. I will do. Thank you so much for having us on. No worries. Here we go. A-C-A-T-I-O-N In the summer sun Into that. So 
sorry. Ladies, thank you very much for coming in. My goodness, we were there. To, <laughs> we forgot there was the end of a track there, Emily and Charlotte. Sorry, we, we just carried on. We, 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 we were in a different world. We were transported back to the 60s.